Yes, sir. Welcome to another episode of High Frequency Convo. I'm, of course, your host, Wes Hunt. It's, of course, my host and my big brother. Just the God. We'll be back with another podcast, another episode. This is a podcast where we spark blunts and combo session. And this episode is going to be about managing obstacles, overcoming adversity, and thriving in uncertainty. But we're going to talk about the Brittany Grinder and Victor about it. Exchange a little bit too, and you know, touching that a little bit because that's that thing I was recommending. I so, slow down what you said, bro. Manage your obstacles, overcoming uncertainty, adversity, overcoming adversity, and thriving in uncertainty. Uncertainty. Thriving or thriving? Uh, thriving in uncertainty. Yeah, you got a little bit of a speech about it. Well, you know, you got to handle that. Brittany, come on, bro. Let's not, let, let's not do that. It's just sorry. Brittany Griner and Victor Bout. The Russian arms dealer who was called the Merchant of Death. They exchanged that gun to touch it uh, about that a little bit too. But, um. They said, look, Brittany Brown in jail. <laughs> we can touch on that. It's, 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 we can touch on that though. But, um, you know, I'm smoking on. This is London Power Cake. And this is July 47. So, um, we're going to get right into it. Um, Matt, uh, how I manage obstacles. Let me go first, man. I manage obstacles. Okay, I'm show you. How, I'm going to tell you how I manage obstacles. I looked at it before, my mindset now. The mindset I had before, when the obstacle came, it was almost like unexpected. Like, oh, shit, another obstacle. Oh, bring me down. It would like kind of take me off my rhythm or take me off my pace or kind of deter me from doing it. Or, But I'll come back. I'll never stay consistent. That's how, I used, that's, that's how I used to manage obstacles for a long time for whatever reason. But then, as of, I would say, like the last two, three years, the way I manage obstacles is that, I look forward to obstacles because when you see obstacles, that means you're doing something. If there's no obstacles, that means you ain't doing shit. If there's no obstacles coming to you for whatever your purposes, that means you ain't doing nothing. So I love obstacles. And I'm at, hold up, let me do let me, let me, let me right there. I'm, 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 I, I think I'm jump, I see you. I know how you, I like you. I'm inhaling the fucking smoke on the blood. I think blood. everybody knows that you already know he's gonna fucking try to come. Nigga, I'm inhaling the fucking smoke on the blood. I'm fault, bro. I got the PTSD. Me. You get me PTSD? Was army? I, got, I, I was in, I was living with you for too fucking long as a, as a brother. But like now, I look forward to obstacles. And when you when you see obstacles come, that means you're doing something. So I manage obstacles now. I'm like, okay, this is this is a test from God. This is a test from the old. And I'm like, okay, this is a test from the old to see if I really want it. And then I get over the obstacle, give me more power to get over the other obstacles that's gonna come. Know what I mean? Like failing, like I like I learned, like I was listening to a, a motivation speaker and even Rosemary Denzel talk. Uh, about some, like they do some motivational speak type shit. They like always fail forward, and I keep and I take that shit with me. Like, I fail forward. If I'm gonna fail, let me fail forward. I mean, if I'm gonna fail, let me keep failing forward. Because if you're not failing, that means you ain't trying. You ain't doing. You ain't doing. Or trying. You ain't doing trying. Tries you ain't doing. To fail. To tries to fail. You know what I mean? You ain't like doing. But like, if you like, if you're not failing, bro, like you just you didn't feel like nothing. You ever like, if you if you got basketball and you never and you didn't find out if you're good enough yet, you didn't try for a team and then find out you're good enough yet. You didn't, nigga. You don't. You're not trying nothing. Even if you try for the person that tries out for that basketball team and don't make it. Got way more balls, and trust me, is way more on a way better path than you than a person that didn't try not and make it. Hard but, work beats talent. I love that. I, I live off that. Playing football, playing sports, playing everything. People is more faster, stronger, everything than me. But <sighs> you wasn't outworking me. Until this day, you're not gonna outwork me. You know what I mean? Like that's what's gonna make me always better than you. you know what I mean, that's what made Kobe and Jordan out. You hard work beats out talent every day. Now, if you got natural talent, and you put the hard work in, then you fucking now you fucking growing like Bruce Lee would. But I mean, like, explain how you how do you manage obstacles? Like, you can say, explain how you manage before. If, it, if it's any change, if it's not a change, just explain how you manage obstacles in general. Let's go forward, go forward, go towards them. Obstacles only means that you can get closer to your goal. Without an obstacle, mm -hmm. there's no obstacle that means you ain't getting closer That's to your goal. It. It's like you know, what I mean? it's like a baby. Ha it's like a mother having a baby. You know, nine months, the pain, and then the baby yep. comes out. It's joined me. There's always gonna be an obstacle to anything you're going through. Yep. You just gotta it's like go sacrifice. Like you, know, you gotta sacrifice you know what I mean? whatever. Sometimes the obstacles become on daunting, and you're like, why? You know what I'm saying? But Facts. But it is what it is. It's just like, you know, like, you know I think it is, and this is an opinion, this is not a fact, but I think it's a test. I think it's a test to see how much you want it. You know what I mean? Like, I, like, that's just me personally. I don't know if it's true or not, but that's just my personal, that's the way I look at it. Like, and sometimes you like, I don't know, I, I'm pretty sure you do. Like, some, don't, like, so, sometimes don't you get like an obstacle, like, you get an obstacle, then another obstacle comes right back to you. Like, what the fuck is going on? And you can't get a win. Because it's a download. Elaborate. 
you mean down low? I, I, I heard it. I know what you mean, but I want you to know what you mean. All right. Down low. From, zero, from, from zero to seven, as a baby, you downloading information. Like a sponge. You know what I'm saying? N not only that, you got um the um all the information stored in your DNA. So like certain things, you know, so baby's gonna learn sitting back downloading, listening, hearing, from zero to seven, watching, paying attention, downloading certain things as it as um as it begins, you know, crawl, walk, run, a baby crawls, walk, run, you know what I'm saying? Steps, all that, steps that, 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 that's almost like embedded into the program already. Mm -hmm. Right? So from zero to seven you get your download. You get your download your program. You understand you basically who you're going to be. You know what I'm saying? What changes is going to come if the individual is going to be willing to change. That's the obstacles you're talking about. So now anything that you're going to go do. Stagnation is death. You got to be able to grow. Right. And anything, so, any, anything, that that, you, any, anything that you're about, anything that you're going to do, it's a download. So now you got to download the new information in. So now this is, this is a little bit more difficult because now you're conscious consciously aware of a download so now you know what I'm saying but, but you don't know it's a download but you're consciously aware I'm doing something as a baby from from zero to seven up and you know at five six you learn it but you know from zero to seven and shit you know what I'm saying you, you, you're taking in information you don't feel like it's a, a you don't feel so much like a trial and error with it so now when a so a, when you so now any information you're about to relearn that's relearn so that information what? Any main information you're going to learn, you're going to, it's, you, it's being downloaded. So now that it's being downloaded into subconscious, it's going to be resistance because it's something that you don't know. See, from a human standpoint, we look at it as resistance. Really what it is, is the program is being, the program is being uploaded into you. Whether you learn how to engineer, mix, whatever you learn. You know what I mean? That program is being, so it's going to be what you're going to call obstacles. Because you're gonna to get to a point. Because you don't know. Right. You don't know. Right. It's a whole new program. You understand mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So you're always gonna to get to the point where there's an obstacle. Because you're learning the program. You see, one thing is, it's not like you are a fucking robot, you sit there and you go like this, and everything is downloaded automatically. Like and then you go you learn see. it. As the program is being downloaded into your system, you're practicing the program at the same time. So difficulties come along with that because. Uh, because you don't know. So you get to a certain point like, damn, what to do? Or like, just now I'm fucking with the computer. I'm like, damn, get to this, I got to upload this, damn. You know what I mean? So now you got to learn something that you don't know. But once you learn it, it becomes easy. You move on so, to the next so step. Ask, what's the purpose of obstacles to you? Like, what's the purpose? What do you think? The spiritual, or if, I, if you think. I don't think. Because I think the purpose of obstacles. I don't, I don't necessarily, I mean... I mean, you it's, could it's put no, listen, listen. Listen. no, no, no. You could put purpose to it if you want. I mean, then you then, could put purpose. That being said, I guess you could put purpose to anything. You could put purpose. I'm trying to say, do you think it has an organic, natural purpose? I don't think it has an organic, natural. I think it's just what it is because you're learning something new. That's all it. Is. I think this, right? Okay, you a kid, and I sit you in front of me right now as a child, and I teach you what I took. Mad long to learn, like, okay, mixing and engineering. I'm showing you as a kid, oh, look, do this, do that, do that. That is, oh, it, it, he's soaking it in, on a, he's soaking it in, it's being downloaded because he's sitting here watching me. When he sits there by himself, if he was paying attention, when he sits there by himself, he'll have an idea and a clue to some differently than somebody who's in who, who have no inkling of what they're looking at. They're going to look at him like, damn, son, you are natural. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then in all reality, he had a download. You know what I'm saying? He may not know he had a download because he was sitting on his dad's lap while his dad is mixing and engineering yeah, records, but he's having a download. He doesn't he some, may not it's, it's, realize it's, 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 it. And it's something some of it is also genetic. Like some people are naturally athletes because your mother and father are athletes. Why? Because it's almost like call it call it the call it the um X factor. Right? And what I mean by that is this, right? That's why, see, it's there and it's, it's in the DNA. It's in, already in the DNA code. It's already in the download. So now, um, the nigga pick up a basketball. Boom, boom, boom. Damn, you flew with that. You're a natural. 
is she really a natural or is it already a download into the DNA? It's a down it's already been downloaded. Is so the basketball in, in So the basketball kicked him picking up the ball kicked it into action. You think what I'm I, saying? I understand but listen, and I agree with what you're saying. Let me say that. I agree with what you're saying. But I also think just cause it's a download or and I agree with what you're saying. I'm just saying the way anybody you articulate is perfect. But like, but like just because it's a download and obstacle, something you just gotta go through, and it's because you don't know you didn't go through it. I first see, but I still think it's purpose behind that. I still think yeah, the purpose, purpose behind that, is that, the purpose behind it, not only, not only to learn, it's growth in everything. It's growth in you failing and keep going. It's growth in you learning something new. It's growth in you being fucking not the best in in the in the class or, or on the team. What's called, and you're still going through. It's growth in all that. You're like what, 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 still shopping still. What kill you don't make you stronger. All these problems came from somewhere. So it's like I think. That's the purpose. Just because it's something you have to go through naturally, because you have to learn it, don't mean. Don't mean. I think. Don't mean. It don't have to have no purpose behind it. No. Like, the purpose behind it, you go in a lot of different ways. Like I said, you go in a lot of different ways, and that's the purpose. The purpose was because if you didn't go through what you went through and you didn't stick it out, you wouldn't have grown. No, you wouldn't have. You and some wouldn't. people, some people find a purpose through they through the through that growth. No, 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 no. no, no, no. I mean, like, and they see well, that's like a physical purpose. That's like a double, triple entendre. Because why, why, why? Because. You may, because it all depends on how you look at it and all depends on how you view the purpose. Why? Because somebody, like, what you said is truthful to a certain degree because somebody, like, somebody will come here, right, and sit down and, like, okay, what's the purpose between you going through the trial and error of learning how to engineer and mix? You know what I'm saying? The purpose is for me to learn how to mix fucking records good and make them sound good. Now, another person may see a spiritual growth Find something, find something else in that besides just the physical. No, act. I'm not saying that. But how do you, the person, look at it? Whether the person was spiritual inclined, whether he's not. I'm talking about whether you even notice it, whether you're aware of it or not. It was still purpose behind it because you grew from it. Growth is purpose. Like, no, 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 no. I'm saying what, what I'm saying. I agree with you, but the what um, it to un, for it to be growth, you gotta understand it was growth. But some people, I understand that. The more I think, the more aware you are of the growth you're doing, or the growth that you're going through, is that the stronger the effect would be. Hold on, let me elaborate a little, uh, for a split second. I think the growth, like I, I think, the more you where you are, is gonna is gonna make the growth, for lack of a better word, a little more stronger. It's gonna amplify or accelerate a little more. But whether you're aware or not, and you going through things, and you just like, oh, I gotta feed my family, fuck it. Oh, I gotta do this. Or you just in for faster, and you just go to work. You don't and you just do. You're still growing through it. You're getting disciplined, you're getting this, whether you know it or not. True indeed. But in order... Look, no, I completely agree with you, but what I'm saying is that in order that, for that to literally be growth, the, purple ha the person has to understand that that was growth because they could just look at it like, ah, I got the job. They didn't get, they didn't get the discipline part. They didn't get none of that. They just got the fact that I got a job. They didn't get that part. They all have to been consciously aware that they're grown through they're going through a growth process right now in their life and this is what it is. And they're learning something from what they're going through. But if you don't understand that, you just I just got a job. Oh, I learned how oh yes, but I see, learned how to mix the record. But you see, they, you know what I mean? That's all the person really gonna get out of that. Of course, but I, I, and, and, and if if you're even attacking her like he still might be late to work the next day. Of course, but I'm he, saying, he may not have gotten the point that he's getting disciplined. But say, but say, but say, but say, but say if you're moving like that, you don't got no discipline. You're not getting no growth. You never heard the purpose. You just have a fucking job. But like, and it, like the people like that you're talking about, that's how they, it, that's how not managing or um, overcoming obstacles create like hate and depression. Or like, or like hating on somebody and you be depressed. I see it all the fucking time. Cause like, you're not only not living your purpose, cause we know, we're not working on fire is none of our fucking purpose. You're not only not living your purpose, you're doing this shit half ass. You come with the same attitude of no growth. And like, you feel, you, see, you feel unfulfilled, you feel empty. Unfulfilled, not unfulfilled. Cause but even like, I, like, hold on, I, I don't want to do my fucking job, but every time I do a job, I do my job to the motherfucking T. But you gotta be. So it's like, you see, and it's still some kind of fulfillment. Guaranteed, why? Cause you are consciously aware of something. If you're not consciously aware of what you're going through, and it's just a subconscious event in your life, like majority of the people is in a subconscious event in their life, I guess, which is plugged uh, into the I, matrix, I I, I, they don't realize that every event in their life I I is a that. growth process. I guess I can see that because I just... In bringing my, them to a certain point. They just going through it. In my mind, I, I, I just I just equivalent, so I guess I can say, and in my mind, I just equivalent that to somebody being in school 
and and the teacher took in information at him, and he just like yeah, it's just school though. And because I mean, they're not like, realizing, you're not really yeah. so yeah. it's like you're it's not paying like, the information, you're not getting right, information. So you're example. gonna place a purpose, but you're still not gonna be able to get the purpose. Right. To show you. an example, to show you an example, what I'm talking about, right? Take Nazi for a minute, right? That's my son. Take Nazi for a minute, right? Go to school. I could tell a lot from his actions. I could tell a lot from whether or not. And he's young, but I could tell a lot from whether or not he's gaining the real purpose of what he's going to school for. Even after the talks me and his mother is having with him. I could tell. How? Because by the way you write. Right? I could tell by the way you write your words, by the way you write your numbers, that you're just doing it. You're not putting no effort into it. You're not understanding that I tried to explain them the other day, and me and his mother tried to explain that, that listen, that the effort that you're taking to put into writing them words may seem trivial to you. The effort that you take to writing them numbers may seem trivial to you. Like, what's the purpose? The purpose is teaching you discipline. The purpose is teaching you work ethic. The purpose is teaching you that when you become, when you come to an obstacle in life for something that you don't know, and it's different to you that you don't just be nonchalant with it. You attack it and you do everything with fucking purpose. With, 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 with like with, uh, intent. With, with intent, with with dignity, Told regardless, you with shadow intent. regardless of whatever. But you see, you have to understand that. You have to understand that I can see from the way you write that you're you're just cruising through. Not good to cruise through life. I could tell by the way you're writing. You're not you're just cruising through. Long as I got the numbers there, long as I did my homework, long as I could I'm good. That will only translate into every other thing that you do in life. Yeah. But you don't see? I speak for but you spirits. gotta understand that. Most people don't understand that. Most people don't understand that yeah, you hate the fucking job. Right? But if you can't be on time for that job, you can't follow fucking orders. Sure, I do you know what I'm saying? How are you going to be able to command a ship? To be a good leader, you got to be a good follower. In order to be a general, you have to be a soldier. For right. So how are you going to learn how to command a ship? How are you going to understand what it means to have discipline? You can't be on work on time. Nigga, what job are you going to run? One employment, this is all you ever going to be good for. Because look, I can tell by the effort that you put into the shit you do. Most people are not conscious, <laughs> aware that they're being tested every day of their life. They just go through it like it's, not, it's just guarantee. life. It's a guarantee. It's just life. If they come across, it's really like, what I learned, what I learned, what I learned. Well, I learned this, right? It takes effort. To make something work. Because I could give two fucking rats ass. About anything. Except for when it comes to my kids. And that's now. Right? I learned that it takes effort and patience to deal with children. It takes effort to, 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 to make a relationship last. See? Now, you fall back. You say to yourself... Now, what's the fucking purpose of that? Well, how can that help me on a larger scale? It can help you on a larger scale because it takes an effort to make a friendship between somebody last. It takes effort. So it will take effort to, to make this podcast last. It will take effort for me to put in energy into doing the music. It takes effort for these things. It, it takes patience. So if you don't have that in nothing, you ain't going to have that in this. You ain't going to have that in anything. Course, Everything that you do, and, but you have to be conscious yeah, I, I, yeah, of it. Of course, I, 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 Most of people are not conscious. They are war, they're subconscious. Mm -hmm. They're going that's through, the worst part. They're going what, through programs that, that's been downloaded into and, them. And, 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 and that's also a plan. And that's the worst part. And I agree. That's why I brought that school situ, uh, scenario. Most people is mostly subconscious. And I'm going to tell you for the people that's mostly fucking subconscious. But you're not conscious of things and you just run off your subconscious. And the people that's running this motherfucking road don't have your best interests. Your subconscious is going to suck. You're going to suck. That means you're going to suck all around. You're going to be insecure. You're going to have 
fucking doubt, you're gonna be negative, you're gonna be this, you're gonna be this, because that's what's being fed to you. You don't, you're not even aware. That is his agenda. You're not even aware that you get into that. You're not aware of shit. And your subconscious, with, without you see, being the fact, like that's why I said downloads. Downloads. Everything's downloads, right? All right. So you went, you went, you went, and you tried to become a lawyer. You failed. He went, he went. Everybody failed. That's the download, right? So now your time comes. Automatic. Because you're not, when you, if you don't understand the difference between a subconscious mind and a conscious mind, you're automatically living in your subconscious mind. Your conscious mind is the mind you're going to create from. Your conscious mind is the mind you're going to have here and you're going to sit and you're going to think from. The subconscious mind is the downloads and the programs that you was downloading that you didn't know you was downloading. So now... And downloading always been a good thing. You can download some bullshit. You could, yeah, you could download bullshit, you could download good things. You don't have to... But, but it's, it's better to be conscious so you can know what you download. You can control exactly. the download. Exactly. Yeah. You, you okay. control, if you're conscious, you're controlling the download into the subconscious. Yeah. So now every action from the subconscious is going to be a positive yeah. reaction to anything. So like, after hearing so much failure, when it's your time to succeed, your automatic in your mind is going to think about all the failure you heard before. So you automatic, so the automatic in you, damn, can I do this? Damn, it ain't work for him. It ain't worth for him. Damn, my night worth. Damn, my night worth. For that's the automatic, cause that's been the download. That's why they tell you to surround yourself with people who have positive minds. Surround yourself with people who think like you. So that's the fucking reaction. That's the reaction. Cause if you feel when you're put in that situation, you feel, you feel so, so it's like, around, so so it's like if, so it's, if you're a yeah. sucker, right? And I shouldn't use that word. If you. you if you're a sucker, and you and you're not willing to defend yourself, and I hit you, and your whole download from the time you was upcoming was to be passive aggressive and non-defensive, I hit you. Gonna... But if you know to defend yourself, the it... first reaction for the subconscious is like, "What the fuck you doing?" Or to swing back and knock the nigga the fuck out. That's the difference. Hey, hold on. Before we move on to the next topic. Quick, fast, but you know, you know, so, you know, it's so a crazy part. It's almost like downloading. It almost can be translated like going into a class. You have to go through that class to know how to pass that test. If you never went to math class, when it's time for you to pass the math test, you're not gonna know what to do. So if you never went to that, if you never got that download of defending yourself or not being passive aggressive, then that time come where you have to defend yourself. How the fuck are you gonna pass that test? Very easily. Because a wise man learn from others and a smart man learn from his fucking I'm talking self. About the, I'm, I'm talking about the ones that's unaware. I'm talking about the, I'm not, because if you're aware, you can do a lot of things. No, no, you no, control no, your mind no, and no, you no. fucking... They, totally, you, totally. You but I tell you this much, though. Not for nothing. I'm going to say it again. A wise man learn from others and a smart man learn from himself. Every encounter from every journey in our life, from you, you, and her, we have all encountered people who have gave us wise words. Whether you follow them or didn't follow them is up to you. You understand? Yeah, gotcha, you're gonna come. Gotcha, up, uh, you're gonna come across somebody who's gonna tell you, you know, not for nothing, my nigga. You gotta learn how to defend yourself. The next nigga who come up and hit you, you don't defend yourself. That was on you. Except, but that's being you know what I'm conscious. Now, 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 now. That's being conscious. But one, no, 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 that's no. Being no. conscious to actually take a seat, not just thinking he's talking to me. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. I, I understand why he's saying that. Not just no, like, no, no, no. Understand why I don't think that. you have to be conscious to, under, to, to listen. Yeah, because you, sometimes you, sometimes, okay. sometimes, sometimes, I think it's a natural reaction for human beings. To discern what people say and want to learn it for themselves, including myself. I think it's a natural reaction for human beings to think when somebody speak, they don't know what they're talking No, but I say you got to be conscious because if the guy said, yo, you, you got to learn yourself, you got to learn how to fucking defend yourself. You got to be actually conscious enough and, and aware enough of seeing why he's saying what the fuck he's saying. You're not just saying that. No, he's just telling cause... you because you got slapped before. But I understand. So I he's understand. telling you that you got to defend I'm, yourself. I'm, I'm so you my, know why he's telling you. I'm putting my shoes in because you got slapped before, but you have to understand that that's just the surface reason. I'm talking about the real reason because it's important to defend yourself. If you get a family, you have to defend your family. Now, well, that's a long term. No, but I'm saying, no, that's, no, but that's the whole point. That's what I mean. That's the whole point of you defending yourself because when you hold up, when you build that, defend yourself up, that shit just don't translate for street shit. That defends of you. You speaking up at work. You speaking up at there. Right, and defend you. and you build but up. It first starts off so when you the understand why he's saying that. No, but he don't. No, no, I agree. Snapped. No, 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 I agree with you. That's just the I, no, no, but first he has to understand oh, the yeah, surface reason. Yeah, no, 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 I understand. Move. But first, before we move, he has to understand the surface reason. 
Before you get down to the second layer of the onion, you have to cut the first layer of the onion. So for, if you have to understand, yo, you defend yourself because you don't let nobody slap you. That's a young and then, the door, that's the You know what I'm saying? No, you defend yourself because you don't let nobody slap you. Everything after that of defending yourself, after you take on that model, you'll realize when I have a family, I have to defend. You'll realize the first nigga. I don't even talk about first, that. I'm, I'm, talking, first, I'm, I'm talking when about the first. I'm talking about realizing that. Defending yourself is just what you need to do, animals do. It's just something you should yeah, do. But what I'm saying That's is... Cool. Not about just smack you. No, no, no. It's just well, first, that, but first, since that nigga's a victim, let him understand that first layer. Don't let nobody victimize you. You know what I'm saying? He's a baby. You gotta give him applesauce. Don't let nobody victimize you. All the other things you get as time goes on, as you grow as an adult. But you do not, as a child, let nobody victimize you. All right, listen. All right. It's, uh, quick, fast. Yes, is obstacles good or bad? Good or bad? Say yes, it's good. I don't. I think that's necessary. So I think no it's good, good or bad. I think it's, it's good. necessary. It's necessary. Okay. Why must people over? Why do? Like, why do you think people sh must overcome adversity? People, not everybody does. Why do you think it's beneficial that you should? Because now I'm not talking about talking about going for a goal or you want to be around. I'm not nah, nah, shit. fuck all the adversity. In, in a situation with a fucking, you could be, it could be adversity. It could be adversity with your kids. It could be adversity in many different situations. You overcome adversity because you you try. This is it basically it's back to the same thing we were saying before earlier. Like, it's like you gotta, you cannot, you you gotta overcome the things that is a struggle for you. You cannot be defeated, and you cannot let life defeat you. This is setting down for a lot of people. No, that's a fact. That's why we having a discussion. But you know, what I mean? yeah, listen, man. And I'm not trying to even talk because that's just hard. That's just hard. Yeah, shit yeah but you for mad on. Listen, and man. it's still I still struggle with it now. But I'm I just, always break down but the process. Then go back to the thing of being conscious. I understand that if I never go through these things and I'm overcoming, I'm never gonna beat it. Yeah, listen, I'm gonna always go back to five percent teachings, right? And uh, and I could break down this mathematics in many different forms because it works in many different forms. Five percent is going to be strong enough to understand it and get that done. Ten percent. It's going to try every day, come close. The other 85, they're going to be what they're going to be. Because they just, you know what I'm saying? They're a work in progress. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's just a work in progress. Can I tell you though? Need to go off a little tangent. Because I, I always read the 85 rule, 85, 10. I don't believe it. I think it's even worse now. I think it's even higher than 85. But why, was it always that high? Why the fuck? Why 85% got to be so? Was it always that high? Like naturally? Or was it that high over time? I think it was always you, like you that. Do you think it was always that if I'm saying it's just something that's just I like, think for lack of better words, sheep should let that happen? No, 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 because you... I don't know. Like, that could always be that high. Yeah, you, you, I would say yes. Why? Why would you say yes? That's because cool. you'll have to go back... The, the, that's you, cool. If it's not high from the beginning, that's fucking nuts. You'll have to go back to understanding civilization, beginning of man, what man, where, what, where man come from, from my opinion. You know what I'm saying? And understanding these things and understanding that man was not created to have discussions of higher thought. You know what I'm saying? To understand that man was meant to just be sheep. Nah, because why, why, why we have free will and the ability to think and create you know what I mean? those like I said, if amazing you go, things. Those amazing things. It's a th choice. No, no, listen to me. Listen to me. I didn't say why we have those amazing things. I said what man was intended for. I know. Uh, what you man know, became I, is I, different from what man was intended to. Talk about being workers. Being you know, workers. Man was intended to be sheep. That's what man was intended to be. Sheep for people who thought they were superior than I, superior than you, superior than her, and they pretended and flown into be gone, in my opinion. And understanding that, and understanding when they, when they decided that they were going to teach man, and I'm gonna put the I'm gonna put knowledge in the hands of certain few. You understand why the majority are sheep. Now you understand out of that ten per sit the ten to the ten percent seek knowledge. Can I accept that? Let me, let me pick back on that. You think adversity is pre planned or natural? What you mean adversity? I mean like I, that shit that you have to overcome, that shit that always come your way. Do you think like, the people that portray us guys? Let's go over that theory. What is it like? Do you think we'd have these, these certain types? I'm pretty sure we'd have some kind of obstacle overcome. But these certain types of obstacles or types of adversity overcome if it wasn't definitely. You think we still have? We we'll always have adversity because 
if you left us to be without interference, we would have, we would we would have evolved into being what we was going to be. Without interference, you think we'd still we'd, have right because we would still have to go through adversity to evolve to yeah. being what we was going to be sure. without interference. With interference, you still got to go through adversity because now you got to figure out who the fuck you are. With interference, so now you got to figure out what's real. Is the Bible real? What's real? What what's this? What's that? So now you're trying to figure out who you are. So you're gonna go through adversity. It is always going to be adversity. You know what I'm saying? That's just the natural. That's just, and then and then you go. You could go so much deeper. You could deal with karma, previous lives. You know what I'm saying? Redemption for previous lives, growth, like you were speaking on before, growth and trying to become. You know what I mean? Figuring out who you are. Everybody here is not on the same trip. Not. That took a minute beautiful. for me to understand. Everybody's not on the same trip. My experience is not yours, not hers. And we all are here experiencing something different. We all are here at a different time, but at the same place. That's hard for people to understand. We all here at a different time, in the same place. That's so, not hard to explain. So I'm we're here. All different ages, different mm -hmm. times, same place. No, 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 that, not. That, that, I'm not even so, talking. I, I know you're not talking about that. Physical but that's ages just, at all. But that's just a simple way of New seeing years. how that could be translated. You know, right. I knew you were talking about spiritual. Right? Yeah, but I'm talking about spiritual. So I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? Because now we are here. We and you are here. Me and you are here at the same time in the same space. Meaning that I could understand certain things that people may not be able to understand. Because they're not meant to understand it at this time. This is that's not their ever. They, no, no, that's this is not their journey. They, you know what I mean. Everybody's meant to understand it. Yeah, they, you know what I'm saying. They, 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 but that's not their journey. Their journey is if, they, to, if everybody's meant to understand it, how's not their journey? That means everybody's meant to Because they're not their because they're not in fucking. They're not in. They're not in third grade. They're still in first grade. And he's in fifth grade, and I'm in third. Now, if that's the case, that means everybody have a, have the same or similar journey. No, it means that everybody's journey is similar in the fact of what you have to understand, but different in the, the fact of the, the different in the different in the fact that nigga, I didn't murder thirty niggas in my last life, so I don't have to redemp or feel that kind of reflection in this life, nigga. I understand the higher knowledge, and I feel spiritual. You may not feel spiritual because you ain't there yet. Mm -hmm. I'm in the fourth grade, you still in the third grade, but that ain't no that ain't no qualms on you because you because you here still understand how to love. And why you don't murder for no reason. I get that. You still vibrating on a lower frequency and I'm vibrating on a little higher frequency. Because he's vibrating on a higher frequency than I. You know what I'm saying? We all here experiencing different chapters in our lives to bring us to the same experience. But it's different journeys. We seeing life differently through the eyes of God. Because we are God. So what would be your best advice to overcome adversity? Like, oh, and, and, be, and, be, and, and be conscious. It. Embrace it. Mm -hmm. Embrace it. Don't run from it. So I picture like, look, I took a chance. I left one situation for another situation. Got far. Shit. Threw off everything. Right? Now I could fix the situation by going back to the old situation. Or I could embrace the change. As harsh as the winter is. Knowing that the spring is going to bring be better and it's going to be a more fruit. Or I can go back to what I know. Or I could take the it's new download. Level. Or I could take the new download in as harsh as it is, because it's harsh. As cold as it is, it's cold. You know what I'm saying? Like Jay-Z said, it's as dark as it's been. You know what I'm saying? And, or I could go where I know there's light. I know there's light over there. But what am I going to gain from going back to the 11th grade? Mm -hmm. Is that being left back? What is there to gain? I already experienced what I was supposed to experience on that level, I think. I already went through what I was supposed to go through there. For me to go back there knowing where I want to go, would only for me tell myself that I don't believe in myself and don't believe that the universe is going to deliver everything that I want. I agree, man. Like, if you want to be honest, man, my best advice would be the same shit, man. So you embrace go through it. the adversity. Like, I say embrace it. Embrace it. And same thing you said. Take but the crucifixion. It's just... Embrace it, because if you're not going through adverse, listen, man, because... If you're not going through the pain, you're not being born. Exact, exactly, my whole point, because I'm speaking from experience, so I don't give a fuck, and I know people's doing this for sure, because I've done it, and I'm not unique to nothing. So I've, I've been in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a space, man, I'm not failing, I'm not succeeding, there's not really no adversity, but well, I really did the same old... There's no growth there. It was the most unfulfilling space I've ever been in my fucking life. 
Like I'd rather go through the adversity. Like I said, if you're not failing, you're not trying. If you're not, if you if you and if you don't fail, you will never succeed. Jordan didn't make his high school team. <laughs> if he quit, there would never been Michael Jordan ever. That's fucking crazy to think about. Tom Brady was the second. Pick, hold up, he was Tom Brady. Was in, he got picked the sixth round. He was the second to last pick in the whole draft. He had one of the worst combines in NFL combine history. He has seven championships. If my nigga quit, and he's probably the best quarterback I've ever played. It's not, I'm talking about as win, as in terms of winning. Because Peyton Manning, I think, is the best quarterback of course, as quarterback. But as terms of winning, he's the best quarterback ever. As terms of football player, he's the best fucking winning football player ever. If he quit, him, when, like that's what I said, you never know. And these niggas had real, he got laughed at when he came in. So like, like I said, my whole advice, man, if you're gonna fail, fail forward. Like I said, embrace the shit. Let me just say one thing. What? Nike don't say, just try it. <laughs> it's just do it. To try is to fail. Don't try, do. I've never heard nobody come back and say, yo boy, I tried it and I won. They'll be like, I tried it, man, it went all right, I tried it. Just do it. Because to do means I'm going to get up tomorrow and do it again. If you tried it, you may not want to get up tomorrow and be like, man. No, I'm talking, for, I'm talking about. I know what you're saying. I'm talking about. I'm for, I, saying, I, I, I agree. For everybody. I, I said always do. that. The tries to fail. Don't do. I, 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 do. The tries to fail. Guarantee. Do. But I'm talking for the people that even probably like they lose their effort, they lose their momentum. It's life. I, don't, I won't recommend it. Keep doing it. But it happens. Least you could say you actually fucking try. If, no, no, no. If you. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. I, hold on, listen, listen, man, no. I don't want to go on the time. I agree with you 100%. Mm -hmm. I will do it. I'm talking about realistic. I'm talking for a whole. Every, since you're telling everybody, we get the message out. Do. Everybody's not always going to do. I'm talking about, in general, I'm talking about playing devil's advocate. Well, I'm for the people that, for people, for people that even try. I don't, I recommend it. That's not going to be my thing. I say to do. But for people that even tried, they, they benefit from people that never did. Because they be like, say, trying would be like, nigga, I actually played in a tournament. Nigga, I actually scored 30 points in the game. Nigga, you have no stories. Nothing. No experience to live up. No, nothing to even say. But they, those people that said that, they didn't try. They did. And what I'm saying is this. But I'm saying, but they tried to fail. The NFL, you know they, 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 they didn't reach I mean, they may, not, we, they may not have ended they, up they in a debate, but they did. We know what I'm trying to they say, did. so we have to go. We ready to know. We're both on the same page. Listen, that, anything worth one thing do, is worth to do. If you don't make it, even you did it. Anything worth one thing is worth to do. Even if you fall flat on your fucking face tomorrow, if you want it, you get up and do it. If you stop and you said, I tried because you didn't fucking want it. If you want it, you get up and you keep doing it. You don't stop. You don't stop. You don't stop. You do and, not and, stop. And it's got, and it goes, if you say tomorrow, yo, I tried, it's because you didn't want it. And, it. and that goes perfectly into my next fucking question. Thought and uncertainty. How I thought and uncertainty is knowing this. Anything, anything I'm trying for the first time or I'm new at is going to be uncertainty. Because I don't know it. So now, because I can't speak for how I always was, but as of late, of course I'm a thriving and I like putting myself in a comfortable situation. And a lot of successful people always say that. I like it. Because the fact that I'm in an uncomfortable situation means that I'm going to either, I'm going to grow from it, I'm going to learn something from it, or opportunities going to come from it. Because it's, it's not familiar for me. Or well, I don't know what's going to happen. So it's, it's exciting to me now because it's unfamiliar. It's, un it's, it's, it's an uncertain situation. I don't know. It's possibilities. You know what I mean? Putting yourself in a routine, that's cool. It's, it makes you comfortable, but it's no, going back to my original shit. There's no fucking growth. So how I thought of uncertainty, not to go on a whole long tangent, is uncertainty means something new. And something new means new possibilities. Because if you put yourself in the same situation, you know the possibilities are going to come from. You know the outcomes. If you put yourself in positive, uncertain situations, I'm not saying putting in negative situations, because you, you know the fucking possibilities for that. Putting yourself in positive, uncertain situations, a lot of things will go from that. So that's how I thought of uncertainty. What about you? I just told you, nigga. I'm in uncertain waters right now, nigga. You I said how it. you, how, but like, the kid I was told you. Hmm? How, how, how you, cause like, thrive. How do you, how can, how can you thrive in uncertainty? Thrive. I you told you what I'm doing. You just, like, with the same fucking exact thing you just said. Nigga, I'm just living it. it ain't nothing to walk away from. It's adversity. That's it. It's the dark. It's just, like I said, whole set. It's the darkest it's ever been. You know what I'm saying? How, I ain't, I, I can't tell how I thrive. I just do. Because I haven't thought through it. I just do. Every day, I just do. Every day, I just do. You know what I mean? I can't even say I try. Every day, I fucking just do. You know what I'm saying? Just do. What I'm doing here is just doing. 
the beats I played you, I just do every day. I just fucking do because every I'm right here. Like I said, I could go back. I could go back to hustling. I could go back to fucking doing construction. I don't want to go back to doing neither one. One breaking my body down. One ain't better. First of all, Stagnation is Dr. Griffith's life. You understand what I'm saying? You said, so go back to rather, let's go back to them. So I'd rather stay. They grow, you I'd die. rather stay in. A, I'd rather stay. In, I'd rather stay here, where it's dark. The tunnel is dark, and it's fucking scary as hell because it's it's un, because it's uncertainty. What's but I'm gonna see what happens at the end of the road. That's all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna see what happens at the end of the road. All I could do. It's just do. That's all I do is just do. My my, my thing is for everybody, man. And like I said, just do. Stagnation is death and growth is life. I live by that. If y I want everybody to think. And if y'all can think of one, put it in the comments. And also like, share, subscribe to this motherfucking channel. Like, share, and subscribe. It doesn't cost you nothing, you lazy motherfuckers. Like, share, and subscribe. But um, I want everybody stagnation is death. Think about anything that doesn't grow. That lives, that thrives, that plants, babies, anything that doesn't grow, businesses. If you're not growing, my dudes, you're dying. And that's the mental, that's mentally, spiritually, and physically. But let's switch gears real fast before we wrap this fourth episode up. <sighs> this is another recommendation. Like I said, I'm not put him on probably put him on payroll, man. My father in law, Mr. O'Connor, hit me up, the Britney Grind thing. They came across my feed, and I was thinking about doing something to it. But he reminded me, and it's true. First of all, let me I, I, let me go first, because I know you're going to want to say your shit. Brittany Griner, welcome home, by the way. I mean, I got no beef with you, but it's great. Brittany Griner got traded for Victor Bout. He's a Russian arms dealer. He was uh, he was locked up, I don't know, probably, I don't know, I don't know a lot, probably, I think, it was like close to 10 years ago for espionage in America. And, um, he, and he, they called him the Merchant of Death. He was supplying... <laughs> Weapons. I mean, I heard this information off the Breakfast Club. Shout out the Breakfast Club. Now I mean, he's supplying weapons all over the fucking, the fucking planet. I mean, he's a merchant of death. Yeah, I want it at home, right? <laughs> but hold up, and Mr. Kind of, and 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 yeah, and, I want it and, 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 and Mr. And my father-in-law question is this: Do you think that was a fair trade? First of all, when I first saw it going on my sideline, that's what I said. It was a fair trade. Hold for up. Russia. <laughs> first of all, no. Record home, Brittany Griner, but are you? You let. You, you traded the merchant of death for a WNBA player. And hold up. There's a Marine that's been there for the last four years. His name is Paul. He didn't Paul, come home too? No. His name is Paul Whelan. He didn't come home? No, he didn't. They wow, said he would not do it. Up. Paul he Whelan. Paul Whelan's a Marine. He's been there for four years. He fought for the country. And you brought home a WNBA player for the merchant of death. I mean, I don't got no beef. I, I know she had a family. I know she was scared. I know she's happy to be home. But Paul Wheeler has a family too. But Paul, Paul Wheeler, Wheeler. What is it? Wheeler? Or Wheeling. 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 Paul Wheeling. Yeah. Wheeling. Paul Wheeling. Well, Paul, Paul Wheeler has a family too. It's so true. why is her family. And he fought for the country. More important than her is that she. Fought and fought and not for, for country, nothing. Bro. Not like, for nothing. Based. No, regardless of how many entertainers so they went to rest with smoke weed. Regardless of what, you got caught breaking the law. That's what I also said. You got caught breaking. I mean, that, that's what I also said. Like, okay, so, so, yeah, you got you got caught up so, there for weed and means nothing, but oh, there so, is something. So, that's I, the, like, so, so I don't I, get how. I mean, so, 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 America is comfortable, right? Trading a WNBA player for the Merchant Marine, or the vice versa, Merchant Marine for the, the merchant WNBA, death. the Merchant, the, the Merchant Death for the WNBA player. Why they couldn't work out that same deal for Paul Wheeler? A long time ago. A long time ago. I, also, I, I thought home. that shit too. I thought that shit too. Listen, I thought that shit crossed my mind too. I'm like, okay. First of all, this is historic for me. I'm pretty sure it happened before, but I never saw it in real time. Countries doing exchange for prisons yeah, for prisons. happened before. I've noticed it happened before. I know you probably know better than I do, but this is the time I can think about it. So it's like, wow, this shit is crazy. First thing I thought about, I was like, well, guys, listen to the shit. I'm like, no, wheeler has been out there for four years. I did this. And I'm like, what the fuck? I couldn't do that shit the first year he was locked up, right? Like, if that if this was a possibility, the first time he's in jail, he actually just made a trade for a prisoner. Like, Paul Whelan is a marine that was uh he was locked up for a crimes of espionage in Russia for four years. Alleged. Alleged. Four years. Allegedly. Four years. He fought for the country. And I got nothing against Brittany Griner. I know she's having to be home, but but like you said, what about the marine 
that put his life on the line for the country. What the, the, the message y'all conveying right now, and I'm just going off the message. I'm just spitballing. The message y'all conveying right now is that a celebrity's life is more important than a soldier's life. Or it's more important than a regular pedestrian. It's all more important. Celebrities, rich people, they get a... And I, I don't want to say that because I'm glad she's on my guy. No, I know she want to be on. I know she's cool. But like I said, you broke the law. I don't give a fuck out if you just smoke the weed. You, you can't smoke. You can't do what you did. You got locked up. My man, y'all send them order allegedly. Y'all send them all orders many, for y'all. How many? And y'all left them there. How many? How many? How many? You know, granted, they're trying to get both of them back. But how many Russia said they wasn't with it. They only doing trade for one. I don't blame Russia. One for one. Baby. I don't know. Russia is definitely for them. They play. They came over. But like how many cat. niggas is locked up in America for weed? Why don't you let them out? If you feel so concerned about people being locked up for weed, yeah, now if she's locked, well, is that? I mean, I yeah, feel like that. So yeah, why don't you lock all the yeah, that everybody else out that you locked up over yeah, here for man. weed? That's a great point, brother. You know what I'm saying? If you feel like it's that, that's wrong for you to be locked up for marijuana or vape or whatever the fuck she was locked up with, it's then true. you should release the people that got locked up out here who didn't commit no violent crimes for marijuana. <laughs> I don't understand how it works, though. How do you leave? How do you do that in, in front of the world, though? Even Sean Bates is like, yo, I'm not gonna lie. They're gonna get some because backlash. I, I, I don't, I say, and Sean Bates like, I don't blame him. What exactly. backlash they're gonna get? Think about it. How do you trade up? I mean, 85% of the population is nah, fucking sick. They can't be that dumb. Yeah, they're that dumb. A Marine is left by the way. Yeah, they're that, they're that dumb. dumb. Yeah, they're that nah, dumb. Really. Kamala Harris is in office with Joe Biden. Yeah, they're that dumb. Yeah, they fucking that dumb. Yeah, they that dumb. How many bills did Kamala Harris and Joe Biden signed against black people yesterday sitting in office? Yeah, they that That's dumb. People champion for being yeah, they man. that dumb. People are that dumb. You know what I'm saying? When they was attacked in Trump for say, you know what I'm saying, grabbing them by the pussy, right? And everybody's attacking them. What about Bill Clinton and all the shit that Bill Clinton done did with women and all the payoffs he done had? Yeah, we that dumb. Yeah, they're that dumb. So not so people are gonna complain and bitch and moan and Jewish Christmas nigga. is gonna come yep. and they're gonna throw I mean, Kanye that. West in your face and everybody gonna forget all of it and everybody gonna something? forget that that man is over Can here something? in a prison. Do you think Paul Miller is gonna get? Do you think they're gonna do exchange for him? You nope. think? Nope. That's fucking crazy. Dude. Nope. Nah. They're gonna forget. Nah, bro. I'm not. His family you know, gonna, how long his family the, the been family fighting? Don't forget. How long his family? So his, fam but, uh, his family. Brandy don't Brandy, forget, Brandy, but how long his family Brandy been fighting? Brandy Brandy said they're gonna try to fight for Paul Wilson. Yeah, whatever. But, I don't know, right? That's just not like what she's she gonna be too. happy to go back to looking pussy. You know what I'm saying? But whatever. No, forget me. But whatever. You know what I'm saying? Please, yo, listen, man. I tell you this much. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Ain't nobody gave a fuck about Paul Williams was talking about Paul Williams until the Britney Griner shit came up. That's fact. I didn't hear and ain't nobody hurt. gonna be talking about Paul Wheeling giving but his family who've been fighting for him depending on I don't know how long he was locked up. And that's Four it. years. How many? Four. Well there you go. And ain't no, and his only his family's gonna go back to fighting and protesting hard or hope that Britney Griner and I don't know, her husband, her wife, whatever. I don't know who's who. You know what I'm saying? Decide to help and fight. You know what I'm saying? I hope. But oh my god, bro! I don't know. Yo, man, like I said, Brittany Griner, welcome home. I'm glad you're home. But my dude, Paul Wheeling, bring Paul Wheeling home. If y'all forget about him, I don't, I'm gonna have to keep. Him. Like I said, I always had a bigger platform so I could mention his name and it could ring. But this is fucking ridiculous. I ain't gonna hold you. I'm not saying it's ridiculous that she came home. I'm just it's ridiculous. I'm not gonna lie, bro. No, 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 no. The, the exchange was. I'm gonna say it. Fuck it. I'm gonna say it. Hold on. That hold on. she came home before him. She deserved no, no, no. to come home too, because to be locked up for way too long is ridiculous. Yeah, hold on. But hold on, hold on, at hold the same time, she broke a law, and it's ridiculous yeah, for her to be yeah, home before hold on, him. Yeah, hold on. That's, I agree with that. And it's also ridiculous. I don't give a fuck. I gotta say it. It's ridiculous that you treated WMA play played for the merchant of fucking death. A, a Marine allegedly charged well, espionage. The merchant of death got a family too, man. Man, I don't give a fuck. Nigga, this nigga is a he's called he's called the merchant of death. And this bitch is shooting hoops. Well, America is the merchants of death too. So I know. So we, we, they respect we, that. You know what I'm saying they sell all. They sell. I they saw sell the video weapons. of the exchange. You can look it up online. They sell weapons. I saw the video exchange. They got the go for the plane. They walk right past each other. The merchant of death gives his Russian niggas a pound. He's all smiling. 
Like, I'm back, baby. We're about to tear shit up. Are y'all crazy? Yeah, this gave the merchant of death back to Russia. Aren't they in the fucking, like, uh, war in Palestine or some shit like that? Who? Russia war. Uh, Ukraine. Ukraine. I mean, not Ukraine, I mean. Well, you're confusing wars, baby. Yeah, Ukraine, but I mean, it's, yeah. Palestine. I mean, Ukraine, I mean. Yeah. You just gave the merchant of death in the middle of a, in, in the midst of a war with Ukraine. Oh, yeah, they about to turn it up. You should so look up, look it up, look up the fucking bitch. They just happy, like, yeah, we about to turn, turn it up, we about to turn it up, we about to turn it up. We got our star player back, we and y'all got, and y'all got your star player back from when she played for the fucking, the 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 the, 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 the West, the West Chester Lions. I don't know the fuck the WNBA team. No offense, I never watched the main game in my life. I never will. I'm not gonna. I watched a few lingerie football games, but back in the days, that was for the bad. That was not for the for good reasons. Some bitches can bowl, but it wasn't for the good reasons. I'm not big women's. I like lingerie football better than like WNBA basketball. Me too. Basketball it's more, right me now. too. It's actually more entertaining. Not, yeah, not yeah, for the lingerie yeah. part. They actually bored. Actually for the, you know what I mean? What's and for the lingerie part? I actually. started watching for that. Me and John Boogie. Like, After a while I got bored. This is come on Spike TV back in the days. Yeah, remember right. that? Back in but the like, days on Spike. Yeah, but like, yeah. like for, that, 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 that exchange was just... <laughs> and you had to slap my man Paul. This, now back to that. I can't... I, I, that's I, fucked I, up. I just can't... We used to switch so but. No, you know, I just can't watch WNBA basketball, but they can't cry up there. That oh, shit man, just really fucking really, uh, uh. I'm not gonna lie, bro. Y'all, y'all need to get one. If one can dunk, if one end up dunking. I don't even want them to dunk. I kinda want, I want to dunk. Them. If one dunk, what for to come on like Vince Carter? Boom! It'd be different. Way different. Way different. Dunk contest for women. They jump from the free throw line. I don't want to see different. women dunk in the dunk contest. What? No. <laughs> the fuck is you? I don't want to see none of that shit. Play tennis, something like that. Jesus Christ! I don't, yeah, I didn't want to go there. For all our women fans, I don't side with that. I would love to see y'all dunk. I don't want to see y'all dunk. I'd love to see y'all maybe to cross like an eyeball. No. I, some of them got handle. I ain't gonna hold you. I see some of them with a handle. I played some in the back in the parks. They had some handle. I ain't gonna hold you. But some of them, they just said they're able to dunk. That'd be impressive. That'd be impressive. I'd be like, maybe. What? I can impress you. Maybe. All the bitches will bust your ass though. That's the funny part. They'll bust your ass and they talk shit to you. And they probably fuck you up. Niggas like six nine. They ain't fucking me up. They fuck you up. I, I can't watch you. I kick them in the stomach. Now y'all do some pussy shit. Like the fuck is pussy? It's so a fight. Yo, it's it's fight. I kick MMA. In the so fight, nigga. Kick nah, I always do some MMA shit. And, uh, and, 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 and the only reason they gonna bust my ass because I had a car accident. I got you know. Nah, nah they gonna bust your ass in the They gonna bust your ass in the Ain't no fucking woman busting my ass. No Lisa fucking bad. Is she tall? No, she ain't busting my ass. I kick her. Bust your ass. I come on, Lisa. Get out. This is fan dude. I shoot her eyes all day long. Shoot her eyes out, nigga. Nigga, she's like 6'9". I don't give a fuck. She can't cross that fucking line unless I fucking come over that line. I'm gonna shoot her eyes out, nigga. What about, what's that other chick name? They used to play with Liberty? I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna say Sean Jessica Only, Parker. Only, only six, woman six, basketball six. player I know. Lisa Leslie? Nah, I don't know She's nasty. The chick from Liberty. I know. She's what's a whole thing about Sean and me. I don't know. So we going off top. I don't know. You don't want to go back to the WNBA show. She play. play. And she, she be doing announcing with Shaq. I don't know. That's one. I don't Sean know. Huh? Sure, no. Nah, I don't show. Sure, it's Reggie Miller's big brother. <laughs> Isn't it? <laughs> it is, right? Roman fans are gonna hate this channel, bro. Like, you know, but it is. Bro. As you know, you know this. You know this. Sure, Miller was nasty. You know that's probably the greatest free of a basketball she player was of all the time. Basketball I, heard, I, from I heard. From what I heard. I, from what I heard. I, I, you know, know, I, mean, I like Cheryl Miller. You know, that's a big sister. Not big yeah, brother. but you know, jeez. You know, she's she, she's thinking about the next. That's Reggie. That, that's what, Reggie's the little sister. Reggie's the. <laughs> oh right. Go on, Reggie. My Reggie player. That was my favorite player at one point, man. Reggie Miller. That's my nigga, man. He needs to kill the Knicks. We get off tangent though. But yo, we end the shit. Brittany Griner, welcome home. But get Paul Wheeler home. That's fucking nuts. Welcome home. Welcome home. For real, I gotta be with you. Get Paul Wheeler home. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? But like, um, we gonna play the song of the motherfucking day. You can find it on SoundCloud under West Hunt. LG. It's called Revolutionary. I gotta play. It's one of my fucking favorite songs of motherfucking all the time, man. You don't have to, you don't, we gonna have to run, run, hope you let that run, let that whole thing yeah. run, man. You can have to let it run. Put on black and broad, my name is a ratchet horse. The whole of the guys are poor, two pairs of pants. I'm more my son, tried to score the hit of the bike. Open the door, send me more than that. It's 45 shells. I'm back in the horn, the shaman. I'm back in 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 the shaman. Born black and poor, my name is a ratchet horse. The whole of the shots are poor, two pairs of pants. I'm small, my son. Tried to score the hit of the bottom. Open the door, send me all the matters. Forty-five 
my shells on the floor, post traumatic, could have been ghosts with a shot to the ashes, life is savage, one minute you're here, then you're gone, it's tragic, on the average, let them see them make more souls disappear, then the weep, I swear, the devil in there, to judge you, look at cops, he's got shot, looking for ops, dear drops, heart stop, it ain't dead, it don't stop, post love, so don't live on ops, on the block, like mailbox, uh -huh. ain't like eight shots, came back with a heinous clock, cocaine in his veins, it's rock, this ain't just the threat is locked, who's to blame, all you know, we don't say shit to cops, they making a movie all day, outside, shooting no props, no hops, no NBA, we hustle, no shots, no shots, no shots, no shots, a revolutionary Yeah, I was born a rebel nigga And started to see things clear Used to rise with the sun nigga Pray, then let's fucking get it Anything I ever wrote or said Then I fucking meant it Like in time, chillin' like Django Bitches chains off, nigga hands is dirty Used to hang you to watch the stains off Scuffed up, damn a scully hat, polo red coat Back in my drawers, in my balls, look amazing Screamin' from the low, what we saw, made us crazy All those dark days on the app, made us shady Posted them that shot, chasing pennies with my grave Look into my eyes, so lost, heart is fake All we see is demons where we fuck, fallen angels Jealousy and every the perfect strangers Never ignorant, getting goals accomplished Nigga, not a politician But some moves you must abolish Nigga, yeah, nigga talk is trash But it's never college, nigga I'm a rebel, revolutionary fucking type of nigga You fuck niggas, deep combo to the few dealers Few gang members, and S is a bunch of killers Instead of calling me a drug, nigga Call me a revolutionary yeah, I was born a rebel nigga and started to see things clear. Like Used to rise with the sun nigga, pray, then let's fucking get it. Anything I ever wrote or said, then I fucking meant it. Like in Zun, no fires, no smoke, no display, fake hope, no crack dope. Men lie, women lie, numbers don't, no reason to kill. Money well, make niggas love ya. Make niggas hate ya. Daddy's niggas kill you for that paper. Daddy's niggas die for that paper. Hit the game, not the play. Cause rules for the shit might make you an animal. Kill or be killed. We don't want them to matter. We're on the side of the candle. That's revolutionary by Rest Hunt, Just a God, and VFS Wolf Vino. Know what I mean? But we're gonna end it like we always fucking do. Last word it. Look, I think of some new shit. Add on. Mm. I like that one. You know me. I'm going to stick to the script. Keep me under grace, not under law. Because my negative thoughts is weak. And my positive thoughts is strong. Wolf. Wolf, nigga.